Hi, I'm Ethan, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to factor polynomials. So, first I'm going to show you that, as a reference, r squared would be a, negative 5r would be b, and positive 4 is going to be c. So now that we know that, we can just get rid of those, a, b, and c there, and we're going to go over the rules that apply to these problems. So, when the product of AC is positive, they will take the sign of B. So, let's say in this case, when we multiply the uh, values of each, we'll go ahead and write these down, and we're going to do this, these steps for the rest of the problems as well. We have 1 for R squared, negative 5 for B, and positive 4 for C. So now, we have to multiply a by c, which is 1 times 4. So 1 times 4 is 4, obviously. But now, since it's positive, we have to look at the sign of b, which is right here. So now that we know that b is negative, so we got negative 5, this is, these two right here are going to have to be negative as well. So what you're going to do, you're going to put negative 1 times negative 4. And now we just have to find factors of 4. So negative 1 times negative 4 is 4. And you could go on, but we don't need to. Because all you have to do now is see if these add to b. So negative 1 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 5. And also negative 1 times negative 4 is equal to positive 4. So you're hitting both things, and that's what you have to do. So now, the way we do this, we just write r minus 1 and r minus 4. So now that we have that, I'm just go ahead and zoom in here. And I'll show you guys how to check this. So the way you would check this is you FOIL. So first, outer, inner, last. And what we're going to do is we multiply the first, which is r times r, which gives you r squared. Then you do outer, so r times negative 4, so negative 4. 4r, then inner, so that would be negative 1 times r, which you can just put negative r, and last, negative 1 times negative 4, which is positive 4. So now you're going to add things that are similar. So you put r squared minus 5r plus 4. And if you look, you can see that this is equal to that, which means this right here is right. So that's how you know that you're correct in your uh, work. So now let's move on to a little bit more of a difficult one, but it's still pretty easy. So first we're going to try to take some factors out, since we have the 2 here, the 2x squared. and what you can take out is, since everything's divisible by 2, you can take 2 out of everything. So go ahead and take 2 out. So now you have x squared minus 17x plus 70x. So now that we have these, we can do the a, b, c. So you put a, b, and c. And the values are 1, negative 17, and 70. So now we multiply a by c. So you put 1 times 70, and that equals 70, obviously. So let's check our b and see what that is. So since b is negative again, and this is positive, the 70 is positive, we're going to make these two right here. <coughs> negative in factoring. So we'll put negative 1 times negative 70 and that would equal 70. So now we just list off the factors. So negative 2 times negative 35 is equal to 70 but it doesn't equal the negative 17 for b when you add these. So we'll have to keep going. So 3 can't go into it, 4 can't go into it as well but 5 can, so negative 5 times negative 14. 
it equals 70, but adding doesn't equal negative 17 equals negative 19. So we have to keep going. 6 won't go, but 7 will. So negative 7 times negative 10. And adding these is equal to negative 17, and multiplying them is equal to 70. So these are our factors. So we'll go ahead. Remember to keep your 2 right here. And just put x minus 7 and x minus 10. And the way you would uh, check these as well is the same as the first. So we're going to go ahead and FOIL these real quick. Remember to just keep your 2 out here. So x squared minus 10x negative 7x and positive 70. So go ahead and add the things that are similar. So you have x squared minus 17x plus 70. And now all you have to do is just multiply the outside, the 2, by the inside. Everything on the inside. So you'll have 2x squared minus 34x plus 140. And again, these are the same. So your original problem and the checked problem are the same. So that's how you know you're right. So let's move on to the next one. And this next one is going to be very easy. <clears throat> because there's not much you have to do in this. So, and if you notice, there's only two numbers here. So, what you have to do here, since you can't take anything out of the 3 and the 8, that would be the same. But, you can take an x out of both. So we're going to go ahead and take an x out of both. So we have x, and in parentheses, 3x, minus 8. And you're done here. This is your answer. You can't do anything more. You can't factor any farther. So this is your answer right here. And you're all done. And now we'll move on to a bit more of a difficult one. This can catch some people, but I'm sure we can all get this together. So the reason why is just because it introduces a new concept. So since we can't f take anything out, we can't factor out anything in the beginning, we just have to go with what we have. So the values of A, B, and C are 5, negative 16, and negative 16 again. <clears throat> so go ahead, go ahead and multiply A times C. So 5 times negative 16 is equal to negative 80. So we got negative 80. And since this is negative 80 and is not positive, we can't, we, for this problem, the rule is when the product of AC is negative, the larger number will take the sign of B and the other number will be the opposite. <clears throat> so the larger number out of 5 and negative 16 will take the sign of B. So, since 16 would be larger, the larger number technically, um, it's going to keep its negative, since it's going to be the same as B. So this side, right here, will be 1 times negative 80, and this side would be the negative. So you put 1 times negative 80 is negative 80, but it doesn't add to negative 16. So we have to keep factoring. So let's move down a little bit. So let's start listing off factors. So 2 can go into it, negative 40. <clears throat> So 2 times negative 40 is negative 80, but it doesn't add to negative 16. So we have to keep going. 3 won't go in, but 4 will. So 4 times negative 20 is equal to negative 80, and it's also equal to negative 16 when you add them together. So these are our factors right here. So here's the new concept that I was talking about. <clears throat> Since we weren't able to take out 5 earlier, in this, we have to put the 5 on both sides. So we have 5x plus 4 and 5x minus 20. 
So we have to take 5 out of this in some way, shape, or form. So in this one, it's really easy. So you take, since we can't take 5 out of this, we're just going to leave that alone. But since we can take 5 out of 5x minus 20, we'll go ahead and take it out and just throw it away. So you'll have x minus 4. And this would be your answer right here. But I'll show you how to check this now. So what you're going to want to do is FOIL just like the other ones. But don't worry about the 5 that we threw out. So first outer inner last. So we got 5x squared minus 20x plus 4x minus 16. Go ahead, go ahead and add the things that are similar, and we'll get 5x squared minus 16x minus 16. And if we go ahead and look here, these right here are the same. And that's how you know that you're right. So that's basically everything you need to know for the factoring. And uh, that's how you factor polynomials. Thank you, and uh, have a good day.